yep, so what we got here, we got 3.3 .3 over there, 3.5 to check for voltages. to go through with these. There we go. And we go down here. I don't know what's holding this down, I believe it this is. taken out now just taking this out so we got another board over here there we are I don't think this belongs to any option either so we got some ICs we've got variable capacitors doesn't say what uh, what's the function of this board I like how it's got the name of the person who actually tested this device it's got 73 on it I don't know if that's the date that it was tested on or not it says tested by D. Nerly I don't know if you can read that there and then it got 73 stamped on top so, that's nice, it's almost like uh, when you buy a new Mercedes AMG, every engine is being signed off by a separate person, when AMG makes their engine, well they tune the normal Mercedes engine, and they've got a signature of the actual person who, or persons, or the group who actually tested that individual engine. So this is kind of something like that in those lines. So we've got this option coming out as well. There we are. Right, let's just take everything off. There we are. So we've got channel A and channel B. It's the back end of it. And this is controller for it and what you got here I believe this let's take this part So what we got, let's just take this. Part. So this is channel C, sorry, A and B, not C. We already did C. And this is the board for it. So you got one board that goes into this like so. Right, let me just put this down and then I can show exactly what I mean so we got here so you got one board that goes into here and then you have another board that goes in like so and then both of these have connector here that feeds connects into the actual motherboard itself so this is channel A and B and these are the boards for it sorry I think I've connected the other way around because if that's at the bottom, then it should be like so. Yes, I have connected them other way around. There we go. So it connects like this. So you got channel A and B, and this goes into that actual bottom board. 
and you got the signals coming from A and B going into here and let's see what we got so the signals are going into here and we got re relays bunch of relays and then we got another re uh, relay here Hamlin relays top quality relay and then we got some uh, amplifiers and that is it I wonder if this is been tested by the same guy or not doesn't say anywhere it's been tested or not but anyway that was that and then we got this this board which we got a little switch on which it says 100 megahertz or 10 megahertz on the switch don't know what that means and we got some other circuitry over here some random ICs they all got their own uh, no actually these are uh, TTO logics got 74 LS yep 74 we got 74 SN here and then we got different Motorola ICs here with their their own part number and that is the from bent so you got the two level for A and B and then you got the inputs and you got the output output markers there and then you got the, all the other switches for uh, you know for different uh, options so yeah there we go that's channel A and B taken care of here's another board with lots of trimmers on it and we got these can ICs and then again we got the I believe what might be logics but they've got their own part numbers on them there we are yep it's got that testing again over here same person tested by HU and then you can't read the rest it's got made in USA obviously everything all of them are made in USA you don't find none of these made in China crap and then you got all of these trimmers which you probably have to go through the manual to find out exactly what it is so we got A0 A plus B sorry A plus A0 B0 B plus B minus and A minus I don't know what they stand for what did they do but yeah got all the trimmers there and these are how the PCBs connect to one another you got these little like uh, IC sockets wires and then you get one on this side and they got a little uh, arrow to point out which way you need to you know put this on and these connect on top of it to keep them in, uh, in place so what's left of this thing the front should come out now unless yep there we go I like how everything is modular in this thing everything just comes out nice and easy there we go so that's the display bit and the selector and on and off and it just comes out as a nice little module how nice this is makes you know servicing and changing it around so easy as yeah one simple problem I show you let me just chuck that away another thing with these old school gears is you run into this problem I was wondering why the hold and sample rate wasn't working properly if you look closely here I don't know how visible this is but look at that the solder is actually breaking off there we go you see the holes 
If I fit in, push it back in again. There we are. They're going back in again. If I take it off, see? That's most of the time you get these with these old gears. That you think is soldered, you look at it quickly and you see, oh yeah, that's soldered, but nah, it's not. Everything is off. So what I've done, I'm gonna resolder this later on because I'm gonna put this as a part like this to sell on eBay. So I'm just gonna obviously solder this and put it. I don't want it to have people to have problem with it. And this switch seemed a bit loose. You can see here. And this this one is a bit loose as well, but this one is all floozing around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the knobs. Tighten all the screws and uh, just clean everything out and then just solder this and put the whole thing back together and then later on I'll put this on eBay for whoever needs this. What else we have? So we've got the main board here. Which is hanging loose wire disconnectors so we're gonna do them a favor and take them apart and then we got this and we got this over there and this can be all taken out so I'm gonna put this unit as like this maybe i'm not 100% sure if i'm going to put this on ebay for sale because it's quite large what i might do i might just take all of these connectors out because these are high quality connectors so i might just take them out and uh, just put these as itself and then take the ic out and these two ic's as well out basically take these three ic's out maybe someone's looking for these then i can have them you know on ebay so they can purchase it and fix their equipment and this is the other bit of it, the power supply section, which had issues. So obviously I'm not gonna put this on eBay for sale because this had issues, the power supply. So we don't wanna give people equipment which already have issues on them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the wires on the actual transformer. Because if someone is looking for it, they already know what bit of the transformer goes where. So yeah, that's the transformer here. Obviously I'm going to take it from this. And then what we got here, we got these transistors. Which they got their own numbering. Uh, if I just zoom in for you. There we go. So I'm going to take these out and put these obviously for sale as well. I'm going to test them first, make sure they work. And then after you put on eBay, maybe someone's after them. So yeah, let's connect it to this. There we go. So the noise was coming from these two transformers. That high pitch sound that was coming. It was coming from one of these transformers. We've got a fuse here, which is okay. We've got these capacitors. 45,000 microfarad. There we go, 45 microfarad at 35 volt. And as I said, these are the screw type, which I love. So you just unscrew and then I want to unscrew them, check them, make sure they're within uh, spec with the ESR meter and then after I just put them on eBay. Maybe someone's after them. And you can see how dust is going in, into this and we've got this funky looking uh, capacitors. We've got one uh, lead over here and then we've got two leads on the other side. So this has got three leads. So yeah. That's another funky looking uh, capacitors, and then we got these two 
transformers. I don't know if they're transformers or inductors, but I believe they might be transformers. Or this might be, I doubt this will be a switch in uh, regulator. But it might be, not 100% sure. Uh, we do have two ICs here. And uh, it doesn't have a proper part number on it. But there might be a switch mode power supply controllers or something. Not sure. Mind you, I don't. Uh, I do see actual diet here as well. Coming after the transformer, or is that before the transformer? Let's see. Let's see where we can go. Yep, it is connected from the transformer. So this might be a switching regulator. That's why I was, uh, I was getting that fizzing noise from, from one of these. So yeah, this might be. Uh, switch mode regulator here anyways that's another board that goes here and then what we got we got this back end which I'm just not gonna bother with I might just take the fan out because these are not the normal fan these are uh, all metal metal and the whole uh, everything in this fan is metal and this is a hundred and fifteen volt I believe yep hundred and fifteen volt there we go, just zoom in, there we are. So I'll just take the fan out and then that's it, I'll put the rest. So, and yeah, there we go. Another product, teared down. I believe this is what tearing down means. So that's it, we got nothing, so we got these. What's left? And we got our transformer, which I am going to actually take out now. And then we got these transistors here. That aside, there we go. Nothing left of the actual device. The only thing is left is a bunch of boards, which are all sitting on my chair now. Let me just go here. There we are. This is what's left from that half working machine. So I'll do, I will put these later on on eBay for whoever needs them, you can purchase them. Anyway, that's another video we did. Uh, I am getting quite a lot of other stuff coming in soon, so I will be doing videos on them. I'm going to have some uh, Marconi test gear, I'm going to have a, again a Hewlett Packard one, and I'm going to have some couple of other test gears as well that I'm going to take apart and tear them down. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next video, goodbye.